This is a U.S.-China media brief produced by the UCLA Asian American Studies Center. So I already heard from the early uh, brief introduction that uh, uh, Yan already introduced. Uh, I started with work, uh, working with an uh, NGO group on environmental issues. But the thing is that why I changed from working on environmental issues to community building. Because during our early work, early work on environmental issues, we, I realized that in the Chinese context, any work at the community level depends entirely on government initiatives. If the government didn't push, that would be impossible to do anything else. So I realized how to make a breakthrough at the community level is the key issue. That's why I switched to community building work. Mm-hmm. 有一些困惑，但是不知道怎么办。正好零一年我有机会去英国考察城市治理和社区重建、战略伙伴关系，在那儿呢看到了一些呃新的工作方式可以改变这样的一些过程。于是回来以后呢，就是创办了这样的一个
in this whole thing. That is the government. Everything has to be organized, initiated, and controlled by the government. 而且整个社区建设的机制是呃非常行政化的，就是政府的工作全部在社区，社区的呃一定要完成政府的工作，而不是在。The second challenge is the bureaucratization of community building mechanisms in China. Everything has to go through the governmental mechanism, governmental mechanisms. 而同时呢，这个社区的参与呢，呃，基本上呃被形容为很初级。这种初级就是实际上它不是参与，是参加。它只有就是政府组织活动你来参加。So, uh, also in terms of a public participation, Chinese scholars de describe them as a primary stage in the sense that they do not participate out of their own initiatives. They were organized into collective activities. So, how to meet the challenges? We do. We focus on the following. First is to search um, the specific content of the urban governance that we could do at the community level. 那么第二呢，就是整整体的这种能力，就是适应现代的社会发展的这种能力是不足的。那么需要能力培训。Second, we need to um, cultivate and the capacities of community members. 那么第三呢，就是我们需要和政府合作，和地方政府合作，要建立一些试点，就是试点的工作。Third is in order to collaborate with local government, we need to find communities as our experimental hub um, sites for pilot projects. 那么针对中国城市社区的一些挑战，那我们把它的治理内容呢，主要归纳了三条：一个呢，就是建立以需求为导向的呃社区服务和培育社区的自治的组织。呃，第二呢是平衡利益需求。当社区需要真正要满足需求的时候，你需要去平衡利益需求。那么这个时候，你需要民主协商的制度建设。那么第三点呢，就是社区参与治理的能力，呃，需要提高。So this slide shows the details of the first strategy: how to to search the specific content of community building. 呃，那么首先我们是针对这个这样的一个情况做能力培训。我们希望呢，培训完了以后，可能去找到一些合适的机呃社区去可以合作。那么我们的培训呢，主要是有这么几点，呃，内容一个是参与思想和方法，因为大家对参与的理解是远远不够的，所以他需要理解他的概念和他的核心。然后就是社区服务的能力，特别是如何去管理一个项目。第三呢，就是还需要，因为新的时期社会发展的社会的问题非常复杂，那么必须用新的。方法去解决社会问题。So the only translating and uh, interpreting the last point is the you know, innovative way to cultivate the new projects that can serve the community. 那么首先，那个培呃试点试点是因为对于政府来讲，他如何改变自己是需要你做出来给他看。那么有了一些好的模式，他会改变。So the mentality of the Chinese government officials is that you have to get the specific results of achievement so you can showcase them, letting them see the concrete result. Then they would be persuaded. So we need to work with the government to build some points. So our main points of the cooperation is these four points. These are the four parts of the government. One is our NGO organization. NGO， 还有就是政府的一个最基层的街道办事处，还有就是居委会以及呢社区自治的一些组织。So the key, that's why we emphasize、um, so much on doing a pilot project in a selected community site and to have the results that can be shown to the local government. There are the four partners in this model. The preceding copyrighted program is a property of the University of California, Los Angeles. All rights reserved. It may be used freely for educational and not for profit activities. For other uses or to make an inquiry, please contact the Asian American Studies Center at UCLA.